Hey guys, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VI Blind. This is Slam Jam McCann playing here with the changes of this time of the complete reversion. But we're going to be going after some different tasks today. Not sure which those are really, but um, I've got a number of them I can look at and uh, we'll see what happens, right? I'm uh, going to try the Magus Rod on her there to see if it makes a difference. Going to be doing a lot of stuff off screen for myself, so. And editing this is going to be interesting for future me. Hi, future me. Uh, we'll see you guys when everything comes together. Apparently the frogs have decided to also turn into dragoons, which makes sense because of frogs' legs, and we're just defending with everybody at the moment. Uh, <laughs> I just thought this was a little interesting thing happening. Trying to figure out character stuff again. Okay, that's not so bad. <laughs> the frogs! They know what I like, man. What can I say? Oh god, look at them go. Okay, a uh, little wine back there. Uh, no, I am wrong. Uh, 50,000 for this. But I don't know if it's the same item because it's doing a bunch of fast forward heroes ring. It's not the same item. Okay. Not sure what's going on. I think the other one was 500,000, the one I've not been able to buy. Again, it's been a few days. Uh, let's see what the heroes ring is, though. I was going to say, I think it's a uh, golden ring once worn by an ancient hero boosts both physical and magical attack power. Did I feel like we might have had one of those somebody, but uh, what do we... Cast regen on the wear. I do like that. Uh, halfs MP cost. I think Terra's doing okay for that, although Celis might be a better... Celis does have the Eros Ring, yes. Okay. Can you, like, stack those? I don't think so. It's, like, changing... Yeah, okay. I, I don't know. I think it's factoring in some other way. Anyways, we've got a Heroes Ring now. Let's see what else we can do at the Auction House, I guess. Because we're doing whatever Ooh Shiny Mind says to do. Auction's over. We have another one if we come back. Or did, did we lose our chance to buy that other one? Uh, just about to start. I'm pretty sure it was 500,000. That's why I've just been leaving a lot of this off screen. Oh. Oh! Golem! Oh. Well, we got a bunch of things we can auction off here anyways. That's kind of nice. Come on now, don't be shy. 12,000. Apparently, yeah, we're. I think we're earning 10,000 from those friggin' frogs in the forest that I've just been uh, reacquainting the battle system as per usual for myself. 20 grand. That's. That's about 8 frogs to buy a golem. 8 frogs for a golem. This is old trade systems. Think about it. Alright, so we've got a golem magicite. Let's see what that's all about. Because that's what's fun about this game right now. <laughs> Is we're at a really weird point that I decided to come back to years later. That is basically free reign before the end of the game. <laughs> Very much seems like. Protects party from physical attacks. What do you learn? Protect stop cure. Uh, and stamina. Alright. Not bad. Let's see if there's more auctions to be had. Apparently we're just buying and buying and buying today at the auction house. Look for some special? Yeah. So maybe it's just come back around a rotation, the other thing, but I, we don't have 500k if that's what it wants. I'm pretty sure it is. Don't even want to say that. Oh my god. Zona Seeker. 500 gil. 100 gil. 1,000, rather. There's nothing I can't buy. This friggin' guy. I mean, we're not doing much better right now. Come on. Can we bid? 7,000. Ho, 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 there's nothing I can't buy. Yes, sir. Just trying to think if I had my sound delay on, because I said that before. I'm like a clevery guy, and now, um, it actually was the case. Sometimes, like, I don't know, flip my settings for streaming and stuff. I've been using the same software to do both slightly, so. It's interesting, some of these playthroughs, how many different ways I've had for controllers and stuff. I think I've used, like, five different controllers in this playthrough, and, um, you know, a few different means of recording. Uh, anyways, we have Zone Seeker. Aspers. Zona Seeker, rather. Okay, it's actually filling in these gaps. That's kind of a good sign, isn't it? Zona Seeker. Increases the party's magic defense. Rasp Osmos Shell. Interesting. Plus magic 2. Okay. Not bad. And, uh, yeah, in case you're wondering, I have consulted. There's a few ways we can tackle the Strago Castle, as I've been calling it, that we can do. Which is actually something we're intending for later, given some of the advice I've been given. Again, I know it's a blind playthrough, but I, I don't mind getting advice. After I've already tried something once. If that makes sense, maybe that's not for the best, but uh, I like to keep things painless. 
But, I, you know, I, I can come up with my own solutions, too. Excalipur. Yes, it is still here. Is it 10,000? Yeah, okay, this is the one we can't afford. The wonderful sound quality of <laughs> fast-forwarding endlessly. I guess I could take out, like, 16 billion frogs. But, uh, depending on how much we spend, so let's see. Uh, yeah, we're kind of down there again. We can uh, basically just uh, do a bunch of the other options that we have to do right now. Come back here later, hopefully. Again, I'm going to be trying to do everything. Everything is very disjointed, so there's a lot of... Not necessarily off-screen grinding, but just me going and grinding and learning my character's abilities. Because I still don't understand Sketch entirely. It seems to be very much, like, absorbing uh, abilities, you know based on the enemy, which kind of makes it feel a lot like Gao, which is a hard thing to really stomach, because, like, yeah, we're Sticky Goo, which gives somebody plus MP or HP, it looked like, yeah. Or is that just Terra's regen band that's also acting in coincidence? Yeah, I think that is just her regen band. Anyways. One design choice I'm kind of curious about, just for my own sake here. Very random, but I love it when... The inn is set up in a way that you can basically enter the start of the area and it takes you right to the or door of the inn. I guess it's kind of, I think this is the lane that we end up in. It's kind of like that. I know this is a really random thing to point out, but I've noticed this in four um, for sure, as well as five, I think. So pretty much everything from this era. Yeah, the lane you end up in does not actually take you directly to the inn, but it takes you in the sight line of it. A lot of times they do that, you'll notice in villages, because, like, that's the thing you want to do, especially if you're grinding. And need a little regain of health. Anyways, a little thing I want to point out there. It's not far off the basis there that my theory's okay, I think. One thing you'll also notice is I did swap uh, Celest and Terra to the front row, because they're kind of more offensive presence. Holy shit, these guys are dealing damage. Jeez, those guys were hitting like tanks. What the heck, man? Although, to be fair, switching them to the front line uh, might not give them the most, uh, they might not have the most defense to deal with that, say, but I don't think it's... Yeah, yeah, like, they're less, uh, I might just want to consider one of them. They're getting a lot more offensive output from that. But, like, the thing is, they are, it's, it's a good debate for me, because they are doing a lot, um, of magic or runic or other abilities from the back row, so it might be in our best interest to maybe just, like, keep... Sell us back there, but I don't know. It's it's very relative By the way 10,000 to uh, take out those frogs and 250 gil to stay at a hotel or an inn. That's uh, <laughs> That's some profit there just from grinding alone One thing that's maybe occurring to me about the dances here um, each one is calling upon the power of X like the forest uh, Calling upon the power of love, calling upon the power of earth. Just one thing I've noticed now. These are all elements. I'm not sure what love would be. Uh, as far as an environment goes, I'm just thinking if we're grinding in, say, that forest. Is forest nocturne the only one that's going to work? Uh, caves going to be, like, kind of nighttime-y to have darkness? Uh, just thinking aloud here, but is that how these are working? Question mark. Oh my god, they're taking out Terra in one hit. What the... Jesus, what are these things? Okay, so that's, yeah, that's from the forest or whatever. God, these, these dudes are kind of spooking me and that's not the attack I want. Oh god, I'm concerned. I could just run, but... Forest healing. Okay, so he's on a continual string of that. Let's see how much this is going to do, in fact. Sketching's not seeming to do a lot. Uh, no, that's not even healing. What the heck, man? Wind slash. Okay, okay, so that's what's coming from the sketching. Oh, come on. Thank you. Thank you. Leaf swirl. Okay, so all sorts of different ones coming. But this is calling upon the power of the forest. No, this is because we're in the forest environment, is what I'm saying. Okay, it's doing damage. That should do okay. Okay, wow. Friggin' Realm's basic attack. Who does have the Magus Rod, by the way? Okay. Interesting. And holy crap! <laughs> Perhaps a reason to not have them in the front row, I guess. I don't know, I was just thinking about it, because their power output of, say, the Ultima Weapon for, um, friggin' Terra obviously, like, doubled. But if basic enemies are doing this to us, like, holy crap, man. Like, there's a couple different areas we've been in where 
I don't know. It probably depends on what part of the world map you're in, obviously, still. What the difficulty of the enemies are, but uh, they seem to be pretty high here. Um, but, uh, yeah, again, just acquainting myself, really, with the things going on. Thinking a lot with some of them and cutting some of it in, mind you. Leap frogs aren't bad. Let's see if they're kicking Terra's ass. I'll let you know, I guess. No news is good news. Okay, now he's able to call upon the power of Earth as well, which I guess this would qualify as, as well. So maybe it qualifies as multiple of those things. Or is he just basically having the ability to change what environment type we're in? Because you'll notice, like, uh, because we're already in the forest there before, it kind of stayed forest, but now it's changed it to Earth, which looks more like the place that Sabin fought his martial arts friend in the early parts of the game. Gonna do a bit of a trade here to keep her in the front row for now with the diamond armor. Give her defense a bit of a buff and, uh, you know, for a little trade for a little magic loss, but shouldn't be anything too big of a deal. By the way, if you're wondering about Terra's magic stats still, Lazaga all on a bunch of frogs. Nothing too shabby. Just saying. <laughs> 